Yeah, yeah, I'm alright man, how about you? I'm good, I'm waiting for your next vlog though, what's your plans? So, I'm gonna compete in this meet somewhere east this coming weekend, running like 60, 150, 100, 200, so, yeah, it's probably gonna be alright. Oh really? What's the meet called? It's called Veidecke Sprinten or something, probably nothing special man. Holy shit! What the fuck, man? Oh, no, Evan's coming, coming too, right? Evan, who? The guy who beat your ass in a in the hundred a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> oh shit! That guy? Yeah, and the winner of the meeting is walking away with a thousand dollars. Man, I've never seen that much money in my life. You really gotta step up your game, man. Just look at Evan's last vlog. He's really good looking. Man, I think you're right. I'm gonna have to get some training in before this one. Yeah, I'm gonna head out. See ya. Okay, see ya. So welcome to another Road to 20, guys. Uh, this weekend I'm going to run a 60 and 150 on Saturday, and then a 100 and a 200 on Sunday. It's gonna be fun. And it's only three days till now, so now I'm going to have my last sprint session before the weekend. And um, yeah, let's go. Okay, so I am now on my way to my last session before my meeting this coming weekend. Where I'm going to run the 60, 150, 100 and 200. It's going to be really exciting. Uh, I haven't been too pleased with my short races for the past couple of uh, weeks and months. So I'm hoping I can pick up some speed in the short races this time and I'm really, really looking forward to the 200 also so we'll see how that goes and it's going to be exciting. Now I'm going to have some flying run, some flying runs, some block starts and 120. So we have arrived at the hotel and it's hot as hell here. So we have set up a fan right here to get some air in and it isn't getting much better but 
it's getting more bearable and now I'm going to go outside and do a little bit of running just to get the legs uh, feeling a little bit better after the flight. So let's go! guys welcome to another day on the road to 20 today is another race day today I'm going to run 60 and 150 I'm really looking forward to it and uh, we'll see how it goes I don't remember if I've explained it earlier but today or this weekend we are going to run a 60 150 100 and 200 and there will be a point system and the one who has the most combined points in all of the exercises will win a thousand dollars so i'm really looking forward to it now it is about two hours till i run so yeah let's go So let's have a look at the 60. Unfortunately, the heats were chosen totally at random in this event, so I did not get to race my biggest competitors, Evan Mainset, Mike Lobson, and Evan Shapset. Before we head on to my race, let's have a look at how they do. Main set performed a great time in great conditions and now I have to perform a huge personal best to not fall behind in the points competition. I set up my blocks and got ready for my 60 meter. Unfortunately, my heat did not have the same wind assistance as the heat before me, but I ran the second fastest 60 meter in the competition and also my second fastest 60 meter ever, so I can't complain too much. And this is the point standings after the 60. As you can see, I've already fallen quite a bit of points behind Mindset and I'll have to run a great 150 to make up for it.
In quite perfect conditions, both me and Mindset ran a great 150. I did beat him at the end, but not by enough to catch up with him point-wise. So after day one, this is how the point standings were looking. Okay guys, so the sun is setting here in Lillehammer and we've had a very good day here on the track. I felt it started out a little bit unfair because for some reason the best guys did not run against each other in the 60 meter. It was all random heats and that meant that the guys I'm competing with got in another heat than me and they had better wind conditions than my heat which is unfortunate when we're going to collect all the points in the end. So after that I just focused on the coming races instead because hopefully I can get sort of the points back in the coming races uh, that I didn't get because of the wind. Uh, so, so yeah, then it was on to the 150 and I had hoped to run sub 15.7. And I did, with a huge margin. I came out the turn a little bit behind Evan, and uh, then I gradually overtook him during the straightaway. And in the end, I ended up with 15.51 in legal wind conditions plus 0 0.8. And I'm super happy with that. That is a regional record for my area in Norway, and it's the third fastest. 150 time ever in Norway so overall today has been pretty good also my 60 meter time of 688 is only three hundredths of a second behind my personal best indoors so overall a pretty good day and tomorrow we are going to run the 100 and 200 so I'm really looking forward to that I'm hoping that I can get a good fight with Evan I think we will be pretty close in the 100 meter uh, if I was to bet, I would bet on him, but I'm going to try everything I can to beat him in the 100. And then in the 200, I think theoret theoretically I should beat him as I beat him today in the 150. But every race is different, so I really think the guy who is best on the day is going to win. Because we are really close right now, so yeah, it's going to be exciting. And uh, now we're going to eat and uh, that is going to be nice. Good morning guys, it is day two of Veidek Sprinten and I've slept really bad, <laughs> it's been warm, it's been bright, it's been noisy and um, yeah, I'm just hoping I'm, I'll wake up before the race, <laughs> so now I'm going to go eat breakfast and um, Get some energy. Okay, I have eaten breakfast and we have checked out of our room, but we have an apartment here to leave our stuff until we're done racing. As you can see, the weather is not as good today. It might get really windy when we run. The weather forecast is not looking great. Uh, it says that it is going to rain a lot when we run and it's going to blow a lot of wind and uh, yeah let's just hope the weather stays okay i don't think it will be but we'll see and um, yeah since it's wet outside i have a plan to just jog outside then i'll go inside and stretch and then i'll go outside again to do the rest of my warm-up i think that is a pretty good plan and now it's about one hour and 20 minutes till i run so let's start There, 
we have the enemy. This is the guy, he's 40 points in front of me. And I have to beat him, most likely in both the events, to beat him totally. After some dynamic stretching, I went outside and finished my warm up. And now we're ready for the 100. My start was not optimal and I pretty much lost the race in the first 40 meters, but I was strong in the finish and I got away with a new unofficial season best in the 100 meter. And this is how the point standings now are, at least I held on to my second position and unfortunately my teammate Mike Lobson had to end the competition after an injury from yesterday. Um, it looked like it was going to be an even fight, but Evan beat me with almost two tenths of a second now and that was the final straw that killed, the final straw, final straw that broke the camel's back and um, yeah, now I have to beat Evan with uh, a second to win and uh, yeah that's probably not possible so I'll just try to run a good and even race and uh, we'll see how it goes my legs are a little bit worn out now but yeah we'll see how it goes hey so yeah I, I think we're going to run a sub 21 today yeah you good about it yeah yeah, we're good about it. I think we should do it together. Yeah, okay. But what about wind? Yeah, the wind may be trouble, but I think I think maybe it will be perfect. Yeah, it could be perfect. Yeah, let's go for it. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. Clark. Our start time is approaching and I'm testing out the blocks. As you can see my blocks slipped as some spikes were missing. I got a new one and tested it out. Blocks, because some of them suck and the athletes don't get enough time to adjust the new one so I hope they'll give Matthias a little bit more time than they did with the girls because it was pretty stressful. I did get enough time to test out the blocks and now I'm ready for the 200. And we hope to have a fair and good, good fight between Matthias and Evan, cause that would be fun. I barely got in front of Mindset at the end of the 200 with a time of 2120. And now we had two wins each in each of the four events. But here is the final point standings and it was a clear victory for Mindset. Thanks 
Come on. Yeah. Yeah. So this guy won't leave me alone. But okay, so that competition was a lot of fun. It was pretty exciting from start till end and I was a little bit mad on Saturday because of the 60 meter wind. But after all, it didn't really matter because main set won by such a big margin. So that probably is something that the organizers will prepare for next time if they will arrange it again, which I think they will because there has been a lot of positive response after the meet. So also, if you are an organizer watching this, this was really great and I would recommend anyone, any place in the world to organize these kinds of events because it was a lot of fun. If you are interested in watching more of this competition, you should watch Evan Mindset's perspective. I'll put a link to his vlog down in the description. It was pretty funny and you should check it out. So after this competition, I was pretty happy with my shape. I was able to run four pretty quick races. I did a season best in the 100, although it was a little bit too much wind. And I did a very good 60 meter run and a very, very good 150 meter. And I did a, an official season best in the 202. There was a little bit too much uh, tailwind on the straightaway, but we had a lot of headwind in the turn. So yeah, we can say it's uh, season best. And normally I would end the video here, but actually I did run one more race after this competition. We finished this competition on Sunday and then I headed on to Oslo to run a 200 once more on Tuesday. And actually in Oslo I was a little bit unlucky. At the apartment where I stayed I managed to kick the dishwasher and break off the corner of the wood thingy and I hurt my heel pretty bad and I really couldn't walk properly afterwards but it was nothing serious so I just got some painkilling cream to put on it and just so that I could compete. The heel injury did make me lose a little bit of focus before the competition but I decided to run eight race because my legs were feeling pretty good even though I had run four races just a couple of days ago and I headed out to the track, did my warm-up and this is how it went. So I ran 21-21, a new official season best. It was a pretty good race, I had a very good start, but in the end I did miss a little bit of energy. I felt that I sort of died in the last 50 meters and that was probably because I had used a lot of energy in the weekend before, just actually two days before. So I was pretty happy with my race. And yeah, everything was good after the race and I was pretty happy. But I should tell you that the following week after this competition, I was really drained. Uh, I probably shouldn't have ran the extra 200 on the Tuesday at the Boys Memorial, but it was, uh, <laughs> I really, I really felt good and I wanted to run, so yeah, I don't regret it, but I did feel very, very drained in the following training sessions for the next couple of weeks. Yeah, but that's how it is. And uh, now I'm getting ready for my next competition, which will be in Finland. Me and Evan Mainset are going to travel to Cortana and Espo in Finland to run a 100 and a 200 in a couple of weeks. It's probably gonna be a while till that vlog is coming out, but yeah, something to look forward to. So thank you so much for watching guys. Please check out Evan Mainset's vlog in the description and also check out my merch at redpercent.com slash store slash Matthias if you want to support me and get some cool hoodies. Peace out, see you later.